In the past few years, the prevalence of stroke in Morocco is around 300 per 100,000 inhabitants. It can occur in unexpected times at any age. Do you know what is stroke and how to intervene if that happens to someone? Well, that's today's topic. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about health, skincare, first aid and cosmetic products so make sure you are subscribed. First of all, stroke is a medical emergency. It arises when the blood supply to a part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, preventing a brain tissue from getting all oxygen and necessary nutrition. As a result, a brain cells begin to die and damage in minutes. So prompt recognition and treatment are crucial. Early actions must take place in order to save the life of that person and most of all to reduce the brain damage and other severe complications. Let's see what's going on inside the brain causing a stroke. Actually there are two main causes. The first one is a blocked artery, call it ischemic stroke, and the second hemorrhagic bursting or leaking of a blood vessel. Some people may have or experience just a temporary disruption of blood flow to the brain, also known as transient ischemic attack or TIA or mini stroke. Leave me a comment below if you want me to talk more about that in another specific video. Let's go more deeper in the both causes. Approximately 87% of all strokes are ischemic stroke. It's the most common type. It happens when the brain blood vessels become blocked reduces the blood flow and oxygen to the brain, leading to damage or even death of brain cells, as shown in this specific part in the brain, also called anoxia, refers to lack of oxygen. So in this case, if circulation isn't restored as soon as possible, brain damage can be permanent. And this is all due to blood clots or fatty deposits that build up just right here, also called trumpus. So this is an explanation about ischemic stroke. Let's see the second type, which is hemorrhagic stroke. Well, hemorrhagic stroke, it occurs when the brain blood vessel leaks or completely ruptures, ca causing internal hemorrhage as shown in the image. And this can be due to many factors in many medical conditions, such as people who suffer from high blood pressure and they don't take actually any medication or they don't follow any treatments. Also head trauma in a car accident or something similar. Also people who take a long-term treatment or over-treatment of blood thinners known as anticoagulants. Another thing, ischemic stroke can turn into hemorrhagic stroke knowing that there is a blood clot over here inside the blood vessel under pressure so at any second it can leak or ruptures. So in the both types, this person needs to seek immediate medical attention. You wonder for sure how you're going to recognize that something is wrong inside the brain. Well, few symptoms and signs will appear and sometimes disappear afterwards. Even though we want you to act and think fast and do the following steps. So the first step check their face, ask the person to smile and see if one side of their face drop. The second, 
ask the person to raise both arms. They will be unable to raise it. One arm, it will drift downwards. Then, the speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple phrase. Their speech will look slurred, strange, because they have lack of judgment. And you will find difficulties actually to understand what they're saying. And this is all due to the part that was damaged inside the brain. It's like a cross. It will always refer to the opposite side that have been paralyzed. And this is also called hemiplegia. If you observe one of those signs, well, that's your time to call the medical emergency, to call for help. Also, remember, concerning time, it is quite important also to remember the time of the attack because this information can be very useful and helpful for the ambulance driver or even the physician upon their arrival at the hospital because they will decide whether to put the person for intravenous medication in order to dissolve the blood clot or it's too late, they need an immediate surgical procedure after of course putting the person for a brain scan so what is the follow-up after the stroke attack actually the recovery requires a lot of time and this includes a long-term medications in order to prevent a second stroke also physiotherapy to enhance the mobility of the part that have been paralyzed in their body also speech therapists because they suffer from speech difficulty and most of all psychologists to overcome this long-term process of treatment they need to keep their mindset positive that was today's video so don't forget to comment me in the section below and make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell to receive my latest video thank you for watching and see you next time